Many people haven't used ratchet straps before and want to transport things and carry things on trailers. Um, this is a simple video on how to strap uh, a car onto a car transporter trailer or a car transporter and a few things to look out for and what to do in doing it. First thing that you need to do is you need to inspect your straps. So if they're beginning to fray like this one's fraying or they've got damage down the length where they're slightly slit they really shouldn't be used. The next thing to check both the strap and the ratchet must have a tag with uh, the British standards and the ultimate load and the type it's made of. This can look like that or a more common one is the blue one nowadays on many straps in the UK. This basically states what it's designed to do and the capacities it's made to uh, work at. Firstly we're going to use a proper car transporter strap. A car transporter strap is different to a normal ratchet strap. A car transporter strap has shorter webbing than a normal five ton ratchet strap and it has a smaller ratchet. Um, this will make it a lot easier to use and will be explained later. When strapping the trailer, lay your ratchet strap out onto the trailer with the ratchet uh, uh, hooked in or your strap hooked in. Um, it's always good to have the ratchet as far as you can from the wheel. Again for the same reason that you use car transporter straps. If you have proper link straps there are two types. There are ones with metal buckles these are easier to use but can cause problems as they sit across the front of the wheel and the metal uh, eyes can catch on the rim and scratch or damage the rim. Most people in the UK tend to use what's called a soft link and this is not going to damage the wheel in any way. Get the Get whichever uh, link strap you've got and thread it onto the ratchet strap. Feed the ratchet strap behind the wheel, making sure it's sat reasonably low but not catching any brake parts, any suspension parts on the back of the wheel like so. Pull the strap through and feed it into your ratchet. Take the tension up then tension the ratchet strap like so. Any strap that's left over can either be tied round to stop it flapping or can be folded up and put under the handle of the ratchet, like so. When releasing a ratchet strap, there's a lever on the ratchet itself, lift it up and spin the, cake, the handle 180 degrees, then pull it to release the strap itself. 
and remove as, ne as required. When strapping a car down, it is all four wheels need doing in the same process as I've just demonstrated. It's also good practice to drive a mile or two miles, not too far, to get out and check that all straps still have tension because they can move, they can work loose and make your load insecure. For those people that just have a normal set of ratchet straps with no link strap and just want to transport a vehicle one time, it is possible without buying a car transporter strap just with a normal strap and a normal ratchet to be able to strap a car on and it is done as follows first of all the end that the is nearest to the wheel put the strap on and hold it out in front of the wheel then twist it over two times like so and loop the strap round the wheel like so again feeling round the back to make sure that nothing is getting caught within the strap pull the strap tight like so and then with the straps normally being a lot longer than a car transporter strap it's good to strap down further towards the front of the trailer however I'm not going to do that I'm going to pick the same point as the car transporter strap I'm going to hook the strap on and feed it in make sure that it's tight again ratchet strap it up ratchet it up As I've not gone near the front of the trailer with the ratchet, I've ended up with a lot left over, so there's a lot more to tie up. But the way that this strap is linked round, it's doing exactly the same as a choker. It's not going to damage the wheel and it's going to work okay. With the place that I've put the ratchet, with the ratchet being larger, I've got plenty of room to release it if however I'd strapped it nearer to the wheel that would not have had enough room to snap it over and this would have been difficult to disconnect <laughs> 